Hello, and welcome to Free Will Tarot 1111. You have stepped into the portal, and this reading is for Cancer. Hello, Cancers. How you doing? I'm going to get into your reading. Um, I start off with um, some oracles. I mix oracles with tarot. So I'm going to start off with the oracles and um, see what this reading comes out. This is a general reading. Um, Oracle cards can definitely give out some sort of affirmations or um, some sort of message throughout the reading. So, um, so you know, stick around. If the reading doesn't al always resonate with the tarot, sometimes the oracles also um, come in with messages as well. Okay. So let's start it off here. Um, I'm going to start with, I'm just going to go all spiritual right now. And we're going to start with this deck. This reading for Cancers. What do Cancers, Cancerians need to know? Joy. It says, like a child, I discover joy in the simplicity of life. Happiness lies in magical moments, not in the material. Even the smallest joy is a great source of light. All right, cancers. Well, it's asking you to go back to, um, I'm picking up rather, that is um, asking you to, come, to step into, um, not childlike, but a creative space where you're doing creative things. Some of you are already artists. So I feel like there's something here that you connect to that enhances your creativity, um, gives you new ideas, new light, new ways of doing um, creative things. Also, creativity can um, often help in solving problems. Okay. Let's see what angel number you have coming for yourself. This number, um, whatever comes out of this deck, um, this number may be a number you've seen around before. Pay attention to signs around you. Um, they may also be in light. Okay. Some sort of light I'm picking up. Sixteen, sixteen. This number may be significant for you in some way. Um, it could easily be, I don't know, um, the four last four digits in a phone number. Uh, I don't know. Any, it can be uh, an address somewhere. Okay, and it says readjustments, overcoming obstacles, soulmates. Romance, affection, support, and comfort. Hmm. And it says your your level of self control is significant to make things right. On the horizon is the possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic friendship, as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past. Everything will fall to will fall into, no, everything will fall to pieces. I think what it's saying here is that everything is going to come together um, like a puzzle pieces, you know, and every piece is going to come together. I'm really picking up off this joy card, something coming to light for you. You're definitely going to overcome any type of obstacles. Um, this may be a love reading. We'll see how it goes as we continue. But it could be a love reading. Let's see what the laws of the universe has to say. Allow the spirit guides to pick the cards. So that's why I never really pick them. They, um, I mean, sometimes I will depending on the deck. But most times, spirit guide is going to bring the card to light it says the law of increase 
you were born for greatness. Now, you can look up more deeply what these laws mean. Um, they're out there. And um, this may be much more significant to you than what I can give you in the time that I'm allowed in this reading. But I do feel like you're overcoming something. There's something much more bigger in your purpose. And it may have to do with a love relationship, but, you know, it could be any relationship. Thinking of things in a much different way, as I was saying with this card, I'm definitely picking that up here. Readjusting your perception about things. All right, let's jump into the tarot, which may totally change the reading, but we're going to see. But this is definitely feeling this reading here, just in oracles. Definitely feels for some cancers out there, you are overcoming something. There's light that's going to be shined on a place that you that was dark before or not where you could see it clearly. There's something much bigger for you to be doing. And it requires, I feel here, um, a connection with someone else. Someone that you meet or someone from your past. All right, let's see what the oracle, I mean, what the tarot is going to say. All right, hermit. Hmm. All right, let's continue. Cancer. Six of cups. Show me. And the world card. Three cards only. Okay. I just heard three cards only. <laughs> All right. So the hermit is indicating that you've been on the shadow side of yourself. That's why I'm feeling again as this um, uh, lantern here lights the way towards your purpose. You've grown a lot more wiser too by learning more about your child. Maybe there's some childhood traumas that you've gone through. And the hermit definitely is an energy that goes into those traumas to um, come to resolution, understanding, going into deep details about um, the situations from the past. And you, sh you have the six of cups here indicating the past. I feel here that something from the past actually brings light into a situation. Someone may tell you something that you didn't quite know before or understand from your past. You may remember something as well. Okay. Sometimes the Six of Cups can also, it is about memories, but it's also about remembering something. Just from doing that shadow work, I feel like you remember something. You're headed towards greatness, your purpose. That's what the hermit does. It takes this star to the North Star, and that is your purpose, your North Star. You're so much more wiser now, huh, Cancer. The world card. Well, the world card is um, a victory card, that's for sure. It's um, a cycle card, meaning that cycles are opening and closing. And I feel here that you're going to step into a new cycle where you're much greater than you were in the past. That's what I just felt like I had to just say that. Um... Yeah, you're closing a cycle or a cycle is closing. You don't really have much control with it, with the higher arcanas. But they're, they're, the message here is to do the work that you need to do with this hermit. Clear up whatever you need to clear up. Bring it to light. Readjust. Overcome the obstacles. 
someone's coming in to give you assistance in some kind of way. And then the cycle will close and a new cycle will open. And that's where the abundance will come in. The universe, the law of increase. You can increase your potential, your potential out there in the world. If you haven't been already. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to clarify just a, um, well, let's see what all, all the cards say. But I'm going to clarify the Hermit. And the Six of Cups and the World card. All right. Let's get it going. Hermit, show me what Cancer needs to know. Why are you here? Okay. Yeah, the Prince of Pentacles. Um, I believe in this deck it is the Page of Pentacles. No, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, something's been moving very slowly, very meticulously. I really feel that there's some detailed work that needs to be done on your shadow side to release some pain from your past. It's moving slowly. It's a slow moving. The Hermit is slow. The, the Knight of Pentacles is slow. Um, but it's something solid. It's something tangible that you're going to be able to see the fruits of your hard work. Six of Cups. The past. Memories. What does Cancer need to know? King of Swords. Yeah. Like I said, someone's going to come with some very clear, logical information for you with the, with the King of Swords. It's not going to be uh, soft. It's not going to be cup-like. It's going to be very direct, very to the point, with not a lot of emotion around it. But that is what you need. Also, the King of Swords is an um, is a um, energy that someone um, is a mentor. Okay, it's someone who gives it to you straight about, in this case, the past and the world card. World card closing of cycle. Five of Swords, hmm, okay. So the Five of Swords can indicate something that, um, where there was a, where, where it's conflict, people were trying to survive the best way they can and they didn't care about how anyone else feels about it. And um, eventually it, it starts clearing up and it starts going away. And you could have been in this type of Five of Swords energy, this type of conflict. Well, that's coming to an end. That cycle will be closing. But you got to do the work. People don't understand that even though you come to Taro, that's great. Um, but Taro is also asking you to put something into action so the, the energy can flow. The only way the energy can flow unless you help it along its way. You need clear, reasonable, logical information so same with the hermit clear reasonable logical um research you're going to get the answers that you need i really believe that here you're going to get the answers that you need all right so we're going to close the reading off two more cards i'm and um, see what else the universe has to tell you. You have support. People love you. And they're going to support you. They got to know what's going on. Look, flexibility, re readjustments, flexibility. You will need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. While it seems extreme, just hang in there. This too shall pass. 
Thank you, Cancer. And may light always follow you.